our next guest was a finalist in our best home cook contest, and he's back today Yay. to make a quick and healthy dinner fit for the summer weather. Please welcome back to our home our good friend Michael Fucci. Welcome back, Michael. Yay. We're so excited to have you here. Absolutely. Also joining us at the counter is parenting expert Dr. G, and she's going to talk to us just a little bit about why it's important to say yes to our children. Which is going to feel great, right? Right. Exactly. <laughs> and right now, you guys should say yes to the zoodles. All right. 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 Yes. Let's do so, that. So, Michael, for you, much like us here, food is all about family and love, isn't it? Absolutely. My dad, he, his family, his side of the family is Italian. My mom's side is French, kind of like you, Greek. You right. know, everything revolves around food. food. You're sad, you eat. You eat. You're happy. You eat. Absolutely. Someone's born. You eat. Eat, someone passes, you eat, you're always eating. You eat. Yeah, exactly. and if you eat, you're sick, you eat, you're always eating. Why aren't so you eating? True. Don't you love us? Yeah. yeah. So I mean, that's how it was in my family, and we would always eat dinner around the table together. It was the thing that sort of connected us yeah. as a family. And, you know, I love that about food because it connects people. And, sure. like, for example, I, I take a mission trip to Egypt every year, and here we are, oh, Arabic cool. speakers, English speakers. We don't know each oh, wow. other's languages, but we have a spread of food, wow. you know, that it starts the conversation as hummus and pita, and by the end of the conversation, you're you know, you're breaking down those language barriers yeah, and so you, have, you figure out that you have a lot more in common than Right, and it brings everybody together. It's and true. And food is that catalyst, which is pretty cool. I completely agree. So this dish uh, starts with your famous zoodles. Zoodles. Which are zoodles. zucchini noodles. I know, it's fun to say, right? It zoodles. I know, how does your Italian side of the family feel about it? I don't them? tell them. <laughs> okay. I don't tell them. No. It's in controversial, all honesty, Michael. I'm a huge pasta fan, but... During the summer months, sometimes you want to eat a little lighter. Right. As long as you cook, cook them al, den al dente, you are fine. You're good to go. So, yeah. All right, so let's get started with our zoodles. Okay. How do we make this contraption, I imagine, is what is going to give us the zoodle yeah, effect. Yeah, absolutely. Pretty cool here. You just put this down and just start twisting. Isn't that and that's so cool? I love the this zoodles. so much. So fun. You know, totally if you don't have one of these things, mm -hmm. you can just use a regular vegetable peeler, and you get, like, sure. little fettuccine noodles, right? Sure, so exactly. a little bit thicker, but... Okay, so then after we've gotten all of our zoodles, we drop them in a pan with olive oil. Yeah, so we just got a uh, pan with olive oil, a little salt, pepper. You just want to flash in the pan because you just want to bring out that nice vibrant green color. Okay. But you don't want to overcook them. Because otherwise they'll get mushy very fast. Exactly, they get all watery. So when you, you say a flash that. in a pan, how... Like one or two minutes. That's tops. it. Okay, that's it. so that's fast. just want to bring them up to temperature. All right, and over here we have browned our beautiful chicken. Absolutely. And what did you do to brown the chicken? Well, we start here with olive oil and then throw in a few cloves of garlic. Just mm. let them brown a little bit. Let it uh, infuse that olive oil with a great garlic flavor. Okay. Throw the, the chicken in, and then we'll throw in some of the tomatoes next. Okay, so we're going to build the sauce now. Yeah, we're building it's the sauce. It's really good. There you go. Oh, good. I'm wow. so glad you like it. It's really good. So when you were browning the chicken, you had some garlic in there. Would you take the garlic out and then put it back in so it doesn't burn? Yeah, so watch the gar garlic as soon as it gets, you know, a little, as it's getting darker, just take it out. Mm. That's okay. why we keep it whole. You just smash it. And oh, it's burning it is bad. Yeah, burning that's right. You don't want that's, the garlic to burn. Good tip. Mm -hmm. It'll start to get bitter. I didn't so, know that. And so just build in the sauce. We'll let the, the tomatoes start to soften. Some of the juices come out. Really nice. We'll throw in some more garlic. More garlic. Why not? Why not? Why not? We got a little wine here. Wine, not. <laughs> <laughs> and then nice. some lemon juice. Little zesty lemon juice. Nice. Throw that in. Oh. Wow. Some more lemon zest. Oh, interesting. Mm -hmm. Okay. And some parsley is how we finish it off with wow. the, some thyme as well. Thyme. Now, thyme is actually in the mint family. I sort of say really? it's sort of a combination. Oh, yeah, between oregano and mint. So yes, it's like oregano with a hint of mint. So we'll throw that in. And the colors that, are great. Into the colors. chicken. And and this is, oh, sorry. That's okay, I'm saying it's, it's fairly easy to make this. Oh, super easy. So we just let this sit and let the sauce reduce. For how long? Uh, reduce by half, so it could be a couple of minutes. Okay. Not too long. All right. Have you so, used the spiralizer with any other vegetables? For... I mean, you could use it with a ton of different vegetables. I use a mandolin, generally speaking, but the spir spiralizer, if I could even say it. I mean, great, right, it's, it's a great it, word. Know, right, if yeah. it's a cyl cylindrical, there you go. Oh, oh, you can use better. cylindrical vegetables in the spiralizer. You can do wow. wow. Exactly. Okay. Well, it's really cool. <laughs> yeah. Eating vegetables Carrots like were this, great. you don't feel like yeah. you're eating yeah. And it's fun for kids, <laughs> yeah. by the way. Yeah. Alexandra Absolutely. loves this. She always wants pasta, and I'll do this. It's and she's like, oh, I love the pasta. I'm like, yeah. <laughs> you love the pasta. See, I say yes to that, Dr. Nice. And, and now there. you're going to have her make it in the spiralizer. Exactly. Oh. All right, so now we let's plate now, this right. beautiful dish. You're also, I mean, I'm an actor by trade. Right. That's what I do for my job, but I am passionate about cooking. It's my hobby. You also are a lawyer for a job, and this is just your passion. I am, and I'm actually late for court. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, 
<laughs> well done. That is well funny. done. That'll no, be my, you know, passion is is my food. Yeah. Or passion or food is my passion. We'll say that correctly. Food is my passion. It's I, I just want like I have a YouTube channel and it's just cool to be able to connect with people, right. inspire them to get into the kitchen, you know, kind of challenge them to you put the fears aside of getting yeah. cooking in and all that mm -hmm. type of stuff and then Hopefully empower them with some cool recipes like this to get them cooking. You know, right. you know I can and do this. The YouTube channel is Tiny Kitchen Big Taste, and you guys oh. put out a new recipe every Tuesday. Is that right? That's right. Every Tuesday. Perfect. We've so got about 90 up 90. currently. Wow. So, nice. Um, but it's a lot of fun. Oh yeah. It's a lot of fun because you get to connect with people on yeah. a more personal level, and they give you instant feedback or asking questions and that type of stuff. So I'll give you. Have I gone overboard? Yeah. yeah. Good. Good. Instant feedback. Good. This is really, really good. good. <laughs> And so then we, a little bit of the lemon zest too? Yeah, so we'll just finish it off with lemon zest, maybe a little more parsley, mm. and then the shaved Parmesan cheese. The extra fat in the cheese will help cut the citrus just a little mm. bit, so. It's beautiful. And then a little bit of that parsley. But it's light, it's fresh, mm -hmm. you know, it's it's one of those summer dishes that just won't weigh you and down. And it's yeah. fun. Yeah. yeah I sat here just rolling. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'm right the second so, time. And you get to say spiralizer. Yeah. Spiralizer. And cylindrical vegetables. So you know what? I'm going to tell you something. Stand by. Mm. 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 Really good. Now say, yeah. now say it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to turn for a The verdict's in. The verdict's mm. in. Yeah. Oh. Guilty as charged. This is delicious.